Hey guys, it's Mary. And look what I have. It's a little mushed from wrapping, but if you can see, it's a Timu order. So this is my second time ordering through Timu. And um, I have to say, uh, it's as good as the first time. So um, I did already open it up. And in fact, I've cut some of the dies. So let's jump in and uh, see what we got. Um, the dies didn't take up that much room. But um, first thing I bought was a watercolor bucket. Because when I attempt as lame as it is, to do watercoloring. I always have a little cup, and I'm always afraid I'm gonna spill the little cup and it's gonna get on my switch or my computer or something. So I thought I should get one of these little containers. However, this container's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, but um, I mean, it'll work. So um, I just have to find when I'm using it a little piece of desk for it to be on. Um, but it was the most expensive thing and it was $6.38. And I know on Amazon, they're way more expensive. So um, it's got a little carrying handle, uh, which I thought was cute. And then the top comes off and you've got this little palette that you can mix your colors inside. And then it's got a place to hold all of your brushes. And then the water goes in here. Um, and that's a little cleaner. And then this is a place that you can kind of set your brushes and just kind of wipe them. Um, and I would imagine you can put water in there too. Uh, so maybe clean water, dirty water. Yes. Clean water, dirty water. I like it. So there's, I mean, it's it's got a nice weight to it. Um, it's going to serve its purpose. And um, if I decide that I'm just so lame at watercoloring, I never want to try it again. It's not like I spent a lot of money on it. Um, so, so that was six dollars and thirty eight cents. All right, so then I got some, I have some brushes, but I didn't have nice um, uh, fan brushes. And fan brushes are good for um, not only watercoloring, but you know, you can put your acrylic paint or your whatever medium you're using and then tap and then make splatters real well. Um, and this one was, I didn't write it down, but I think it was only maybe $3. Um, and there's a one, a three, a five, seven, and a nine. Um, and they're soft and they, uh, they seem nice. So we'll see how they are. All right, so the dies, let me get them out. I cut some out to show you. Um, all right. Um, so the first one was, this one was $3.09. And it makes this cute. Um, uh, design crisscross pattern and it fits this is a little bit bigger than that let me see four, four and a quarter this is a two size and so it fits perfectly right on the card so so I think that'll be uh, cute to use so I was quite happy with that. And it cut out 
<laughs> like butter. Like butter. So, we got that one. And then, uh, I, I almost want to ruin this one. Um, look at this. It got bent in the bag when I put it in there. This was an old-fashioned 20s, 30s people. And this was $2.99. And it comes, them, they're dancing, and then it comes with the old Victrola. Um, I just thought it was just so cute. And I've got some roaring 20s paper and stuff that I think it'll go cute with. And I think if it's in, like, a black silhouette, it'll be awesome. So that was that one. And this is, where's my little, because this is a really good size. This is a little over four and about almost four, oh wait, uh, four and a half. So it's a pretty good size. It'll just squeak by on a HU. It'll fit good on a... Uh, Five by five or uh, six by six card. Um, and then let me see which of the other ones did I cut out? I cut this one out. And this one was only a dollar sixty nine, and it cut out beautifully. And I thought it would be really pretty. Um, to do a background, um, you know, like of a sunset. Um, I just thought it was so pretty. And then these would be easy to paper piece into the flowers. So a dollar sixty nine. It's like, come on now. Um, okay, and then okay, I got this one. Uh, and it was, I think the most of all of them is four forty eight, and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dies. And it's got scallops. It's got scallops, and then it's got the little stitches. But I was thinking, if I left them, leave them attached, what would it look like? You know? And so... I left them attached and I cut them out and I thought it was kind of cool because so that's the outer one and then this one has stitches and it's got like a reverse scallop and then the next one has just the scallop And then this one has the stitches with the reverse scallop. Scallop. Reverse scallop with stitches. Scallop. And what did I do with the other little piece? Now I can't find it. There's one more. Oh, here it is. It fell on the floor. And then the little tiny one with the stitching. So since I have stitched ones and I have scallop ones, I thought, you know, I just might leave it together and then just build up on it. You know, put some layers and give it some dimension. So I don't know. I might just leave them together. I thought it was kind of cool. All right. So I didn't have time to cut out the rest of them, but... Here is uh, palm trees and land. That was two seventy eight, and you know I think these are going to be perfect for um, scrapbooking too. So that was the palm trees, and then this one was a dollar fifty nine, and look at how cute! It's a little musical notes. G cliff. I thought that would be so cute. And then this one says H A P P Y birthday.
birthday to you. A little balloon. I love that it's going vertical instead of horizontal. And this one was a dollar sixty nine also. And then this one was a dollar ninety eight. And this is like um is it is it pussy willows? Is it reeds? Um, you know that grow I don't have anything like it, so I thought it would be really cool. So, and then, I know you, you can't tell what this is. This one was two forty eight, and this is a little baby elephant when you put it together. And I'm sure you've seen it because that little baby elephant's been around a long time with a, he's sitting down with his little legs and his little trunk, he's got the cutest little look on his face and eyes. Um, and I thought, I've always wanted that one and I never could find it reasonable. And look, $2.48, you can't beat it. So, um, so uh, again, I am very happy with the order. Um, They've, like I said, every one that I've cut so far and the last time and this time has cut just perfectly. Um, I'll let you know how the brushes are. But, um, you know, um, I don't think you can go wrong. You know, you do have to have patience going through their website because they have so much stuff. And you can't do it on the phone because you're going to get a headache. You have to have an iPad or something bigger, trust me, um, so that you can actually see what's going on. So, um, I am not an influencer or anything uh, with them, but I will put a code uh, in the description. So, if you use that code... I believe you'll get $30 credit on your first order if you have not signed up for a Timu account yet. So it's well worth it. You probably have to spend maybe $50, but it's not hard to just, you know, they've got clothes, they've got housewares, they've got tools, they've got crafts, they've got, you name it, they've got it. So anyway... So let me know in comments if you've uh, shopped with Timu uh, and if you have, uh, what have you gotten um, and how you liked it. Um, let me know if there's something that you really like and I can take a look and see uh, if I can find it. I don't think the things last. It's kind of like when you go to Costco, you see something you should probably buy it then because probably next time you're there in a month, it's not going to be there anymore. I think it might be like that. So just a warning. If you're going to put in an order and you first order during the, uh, for the first order of the day, you get free shipping. So you can't beat it. And they come in a week or less. This one said it would be here by the 27th, and it got here on the 23rd. So, um, yeah, so that's it. So uh, let me know what you think in comments. Um, if you like the video, please hit the like button. Um, if you're a subscriber, thank you so much. If you're thinking about subscribing, please hit that subscribe button, and that notification bell will let you know when there's a new video. Um so that's it. Yeah. So until next time, stay safe, stay well, and happy crafting. Bye-bye.